In Gethsemane's darkness, Jesus prayed for us. When he asked God for the strength to bear the cross, a sword of sorrow foretold long ago, your mother's heart will know. The sword of sorrow foretold long ago, your mother's heart will know. Angels came to serve our Lord, the help he sought. Strength to suffer from the chalice which they brought. The sword of sorrow foretold long ago. Your mother's heart will know a sword of sorrow foretold long ago. Your mother's heart will know. On the morrow you must bear the cross in pain. Slowly from your bloody wounds all life will wane. The sword of sorrow foretold long ago, your mother's heart will know. The sword of sorrow foretold long ago, your mother's heart will know. A sword of sorrow foretold long ago, your mother's heart will know. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship our King and God. Come, let us adore Christ the King and our God. Come, let us adore and bow down to the only Lord Jesus Christ, the King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. You are very great, O Lord my God clothed in pomp and brilliance, arrayed with light as with a cloak, stretching out the sky as a tent cloth, covering your lofty halls with water. You make the clouds your conveyance, you sherds on the wings of the wind. You make spirits your messengers, and flaming fires your attendants. You settle the earth on its firm foundation, it shall stand and move from age to age. The abyss covers it like a garden. Waters stand over the mountains. At your rebuke, they will take to flight. At the peal of your thunder, they will fear. They hurtle the hills and run down the dales to the place you have chosen for them. You have set up a boundary not to be passed. They shall never return to cover the earth. Down in the gullies, you make spring to rise. Water shall go down between the mountains. They shall give drink to the beasts of the field. Wild asses will sink them to quench their thirst. The birds from the sky will abide by them. From among the rocks they will raise their song. From your lofty halls you refresh the mountains. The earth shall be fed with the fruit of your works. You make green pastures for the cattle and food plants for the service of man, so that bread may be brought forth from the earth, and wine that gladdens the heart of man, so that oil may put a gleam upon his face, and that bread may strengthen the heart of man. The trees of the plain will be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. The sparrows will build their nests in them, 
and the herons will call them their home. To the deer belong high mountains, to rodents the shelter of the rocks. You have made the moon to mark the season, the sun knows the time of its setting. You establish darkness and it is night, wherein the forest creatures prowl around. Okay. Young lions <clears throat> roar for their prey and call out to God for their meat. As the sun rises, they will come together and lay themselves down in their dens. Man will go out to his labor and work until eventide. How great are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is filled with your creatures. Even the wide and open sea itself, within it there are countless creeping things, living beings, lost all and large. Upon it the ships are sailing, and that great beast you made to have fun. All of them look up to you to give them their food in due time. You provide and they gather up. You open your hand and they are full. You hide your face and they cringe. You suspend their breath and they die and return to their dust. You send forth your breath and they live. You renew the face of the earth. May the Lord's glory endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it quake. He touches the mountains and they smoke. <clears throat> I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will pray my God as long as I last. Would that my thoughts be pleasing to him and I will rejoice in the Lord. May the sinners vanish from the earth and may the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul. The sun knows the time of its setting. You establish darkness and it is night. How great are your works, O Lord. In wisdom you have wrought them all. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory be to you, O God. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace from high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith and earnest in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy father Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan and William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the Venerable Presbyterate, the Deaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God. By your grace, Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Evening, morning, and at noon we praise, we bless you, we thank you, we pray to you, Master of all and loving Lord, let our prayers raise like incense before you, 
and do not let our hearts be turned to evil words or thoughts, but deliver us from all that might ensnare our souls. For to you, Lord, O oh Lord, our eyes are turned, and in you we hope. Let us not be put to shame, O oh our God. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is the all glory, honor, and worship now and ever and forever. Amen. O oh Lord, I have cried to you. Hear me. Hear me, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, I have cried to you. Hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O Lord. Mm -hmm. Let my prayer be directed as incense to you, the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. For your name's sake, O Lord, I have waited for you. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped in the Lord. The Jewish council gathers to deliver to Pilate the author and creator of all. Oh, what iniquity and infidelity they prepare for judgment. The one who comes to judge the living and the dead, they prepare to make suffer the one who heals all suffering. Therefore, O oh long-suffering Lord, great is your mercy. Glory be to you. From the watch of dawn until the night, from the watch of dawn, Israel long for the Lord. O oh Lord, the law transgressing, Judas, who at supper dipped his hand in the plate with you, extended his sinful hand to take silver, and he who placed value on the spice did not shrink from selling you, O priceless Lord. He put forth his feet for the master to wash, then kissed you in deceit as a sign to the lawbreakers. Thus he ceased to be an apostle, and having cast away the thirty silver pieces, Never saw your resurrection on the third day. Have mercy on us through that same resurrection. For with the Lord there is mercy and with him abundant redemption. And it is he who will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. Judas the traitor, being deceitful, with the kiss of deceit betrayed the Savior, mm -hmm. Lord and Master of all, and sold him as a slave to the Jews, like a sheep being led to slaughter. So went the Lamb of God, the Father, Son, and the only All-Merciful. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Exalt Him, all you peoples. Judas showed himself by his deeds to be a servant yet deceiver, a disciple yet betrayer, 
and a friend, yet a devil. For as he followed the master, he concealed the betrayal, saying to himself, I will betray this one and gain much wealth. He sought to sell the spice that he might trap the Lord. He gave a kiss and betrayed Christ, who like a lamb was led to the slaughter, and who alone has compassion and love for mankind. For mighty is his love for us, and true the truth of the Lord endures forever. The Lamb foretold by Isaiah willingly comes to be slaughtered, offering his back to scourges and his cheeks to be slapped. Even his face he did not turn from the shame of spit, as he was condemned to a shameful death. The sinless Lord endures all this with willingness, so that he might grant resurrection from the dead to all. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Truly Judas is the son of those ungrateful who ate the manna in the wilderness and murmured against the nourisher. For while food was still in their mouths, those ingrates murmured against God. Likewise, this wicked one, while the holy bread was still in his mouth, conspired to betray the Savior. Oh, what greedy purpose! What be what bold in inhumanity? For he betrayed the nourisher and delivered to death the master who loved him. In truth, this lawbreaker is a son of unbelievers and inherited destruction with, with them. Save our soul, O Lord, from such unkindness. For you alone can endure such long suffering. Wisdom be then to O joyful light, light and holy glory of the Father immortal. The heavenly, holy, the blessed one, O Jesus Christ, now that we have reached the setting of the sun and sing the evening light, we sing to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It is fitting at all time to raise a song of praise in measured melody to you. O Son of God, the giver of life, behold the universe sings your glory. Let us be attentive. Peace be to all wisdom, be attentive. O Lord, deliver me from the evil man and free me from the unjust man who contemplates injustice in their hearts all day long. O Lord, deliver me from the evil man and free me from the unjust man. <clears throat> 
Wisdom. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Let us read and do. Thus says the Lord, the Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my cheek to those who feed me, my cheeks to those who pluck my beard. My face I did not shield from buffeting and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is at my is my help. Who will prove me wrong? Lo, they will all wear out like a cloth. The moth will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord? Eats his servant's voice and walks in darkness without any light, trusting in the name of the Lord and relying on his God. All of you kindle flames and carry about you fiery darts. Walk by the light of your own fire, and by the flares you have burned. This is your fate from my hand. You shall lie down in a place of pain. Let us be attentive. Peace be to all wisdom, be attentive. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have <clears throat> mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit now and, and ever and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Holy and, and immortal, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us be attentive, peace be to all wisdom, be attentive. The princes of the people have gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The princes of the people have gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Wisdom. A reading from the first epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Let us be then to. Brethren, I received from the Lord what I handed on to you, namely that the Lord Jesus, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread and after have given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it, in remembrance of me. Every time then you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. 
This means that whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord unworthily sins against the body and the blood of the Lord. A man should examine himself first. Only then should he eat of the bread and drink of the cup. He who eats and drinks without recognizing the body eats and drinks the judgment on himself. This is why many among you are sick and infirm, and why so many are dying. If we were to examine ourselves, we would not be falling under judgment in this way. But since it is the Lord who judges us, he who chastens us to keep us from being condemned with the rest of the world. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be tender. Alleluia. 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 say the worst of me when will he die and is his name perish alleluia 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 he that partook of my bread has raised his heel against me alleluia Alleluia, Alleluia. <clears throat> Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Lord. To you, O Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive. The Lord said to his disciples, You know that in today's time it will be Passover, and that the Son of Man is to be handed over to be crucified. At that time, the chief priests and elders of the people were assembled in the play palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas. They plotted to arrest Jesus by some trick and kill him. But they said, not during the festival, for fear of a riot among the people. While Jesus was in Bethany, at the house of Simon the leper, a woman carrying a jar of costly perfume came up to him at table and began to pour it on his head. When the disciples saw this, they grew indignant, protesting, what is the point of such extravagance? This could have been sold for a good price and the money given to the poor. Jesus became aware of this and said to them, Why do you criticize the woman? It is a good deed she has done for me. The poor you will always have with you but you will not always help me. By pouring this perfume on my body, she has contributed toward my burial preparation. I assure you, wherever the good news is proclaimed throughout the world, what she did will be spoken of as her memorial. Then one of the twelve, whose name was Judas Iscariot, went off to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand Jesus over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he kept looking for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the feast, 
of unleavened bread. The disciples came up to Jesus and said, Where do you wish us to prepare the Passover supper for you? He said, Go to this man in the city and tell him. The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. I am the I am to celebrate the Passover with my disciples in your house. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover supper. When it grew dark, Jesus reclaimed a table with the twelve. Jesus fully aware that he had come from God and was going to God. The Father who had handed everything over to him rose from the meal and took off his cloak. He picked up a towel and tied it around himself. Then he poured over into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet and dry them with the towel he had around him. Thus he came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You may not realize now what I am going, doing, but later you will understand. Peter replied, You shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, If I do not wash you, you will have no share in my heritage. Lord, Simon Peter said to him, Then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus told him, The man who has bathed has no need to wash except for his feet. He is entirely cleansed, just as you are, though not all. The reason he said, not all are washed clean, was that he knew his betrayer. After Jesus had washed the feet of the twelve, he put his cloak back on and reclined at table once more. He said to them, Do you understand what I just did for you? You address me as teacher and Lord, and fittingly enough, for that is what I am. But if I washed your feet, I who am teacher and Lord, then you must wash each other's feet. What I just did was to give you an example, as I have done, so you must do. I solemnly assure you, no slave is greater than his master, no messenger outranks the one who sent him. Once you know all these things, blessed will you be if you put them into practice. In the course of the meal, Jesus said, I assure you, one of you is about to betray me. Distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He replied, The man who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will hand me over. The Son of Man is departing, as Scripture says of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is, be is betrayed. Better for him if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, spoke. Surely it is not I, Rabbi. Jesus answered, It is you who have said it. 
During the meal, Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples. Take this and eat it, he said. This is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them. All of you must drink from it, he said, <clears throat> for this is my blood, the blood of the, of the covenant, to be poured out <clears throat> in behalf of many for the forgiveness of sin. I tell you, I will not drink this fruit of the wine from now until the day when I drink it new with you in my father's reign. <clears throat> then after singing songs of praise, they walked out to the mountain of olives. Jesus then said to them, Tonight your faith in me will be shaken, for scripture has, has it, <clears throat> I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be dispersed. But after I am raised up, I will go to Galilee ahead of you. Peter responded, Though all may have their faith in you shaken, mine will never be shaken. Jesus said to him, I give you my word, before the cock crows tonight you will deny me three times. Peter replied, even though I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the other disciples said the same. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. He said to his disciples, Stay here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and Zebedee's two sons and began to experience sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My heart is nearly broken with sorrow. Remain here and stay awake with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in, in prayer. My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass me by. Still, let it be as you would have it, not as I. An angel then appeared to him from heaven to strengthen him in his anguish. He prayed with all the greater intensity, and his sweat became like drops of blood falling to the ground. When Jesus returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not stay awake with me for even an hour. Be on your guard and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit of willing, but nature is weak. Withdrawing a second time, he began to pray. My father, if this cannot pass me by without my drinking it, your will be done. Once more of his return, he found them asleep. They could not keep their eyes open. He left them again withdrew somewhat and began to pray a third time, saying the same words as before. Finally he returned to his disciples and said to them, Sleep on now, enjoy your rest. The hour is on us when the Son of Man is to be handed over to the power of evil men. Get up, let us be 
on our way. See, my betrayer is here. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a great crowd with swords and clubs. They had been sent by the chief priest and the elders of the people. His betrayer had arranged to give them a signal saying, The man I, I shall embrace is the one. Take hold of him. He immediately went over to Jesus, said to him, Peace, Rabbi, and embrace him. Jesus answered, Friend, do what you are here for. At that moment they stepped forward to lay hands of Jesus and arrested him. Suddenly one of those who accompanied Jesus put his hand to his sword, threw it and slashed at the high priest's servant, cutting off his ear. Jesus said to him, put back your, your sword where it belongs. Those who use the sword are sooner or later destroyed by it. Do you not suppose I can call of my father on my father to provide at a moment's notice more than twelve legions of angels? But then how would the scriptures be fulfilled which say it must happen this way? At that very time Jesus said to the crowd, Am I a brigand that you have come armed with swords and clubs to arrest me? From day to day I sat teaching in the temple precincts, yet you never arrested me. Nonetheless, all this has happened in fulfillment of the writings of the prophets, then all the disciples deserted him and fled. Those who had apprehended Jesus led him off to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and elders were convened. Peter kept following him at a distance as far as the high priest's residence. Going inside, he sat down with the guards to see the outcome. The chief priest with the whole Sanhedrin were busy trying to obtain false testimony against Jesus so that they might put him to death. They discovered known, despite the many false witnesses who took the stand. Finally, two came forward who stated, This man has declared, I can destroy God's sanctuary and rebuild it in three days. The high priest rose to his feet and addressed, addressed Jesus. Have you no answer to the testimony leveled against you? But Jesus remained silent. The high priest then said to him, In order you to tell us under oath before the living God whether you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus answered, It is you who say it, but I tell you this, soon you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming on the cloud of heaven. At this the high priest 
Tore his robes, tore his robes, he has blasphemed. That further need have we of witnesses. Remember, you heard the blasphemy. What is your verdict? They answered, he deserves death. Then they began to spit in his face and hit him. Others slapped him, saying, Play the prophet for us, Messiah, who struck you. Peter was sitting in the courtyard when one of the serving girls came over to him and said, You two were with Jesus, the Galilean. Peter denied it in front of everyone. I do not know what you are talking about. When he went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those nearby, This man was with Jesus, the Nazarene. Again Peter denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. A little while later some Bystanders came over to Peter and said, You are certainly one of them. Even your accent gives you away. At that Peter began cursing and swore, I do not even know the man. Just then a cock began to crow, and Peter remembered the prediction Jesus had made. Before the cold crowds, you will deny me three times. Peter went out and began to weep bitterly. At daybreak, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took formal action against Jesus to put him to death. They bound him and led him away to be handed over to the procurator Pilate. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray you, hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you, hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, and for our Most Reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Pray for the 
souls of the soul of the departed servant of God, Donald, and that his every transgression voluntary and involuntary be forgiven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Lord. soul to the place where the just repose. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the mercy of God, for the kingdom of heaven, and for the remission of his sins, let us beseech Christ. The immortal King and our God, grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have oh, mercy. Grant the life to your world. Now grant rest, O Lord, to the soul of your departed servant Donald. In the place of life, join peace where there is no pain. So all our mourning as a good and loving God, forgive us and committed by Him in word in our thought. Since there is no one who lives and does not sin, you alone are without sin. Your justice is eternal justice, and your word is truth. For you, Christ our God, are the resurrection, and the life, and the repose of your departed servant, Donald. And we give glory to you with your eternal Father and your holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let me this day, O Son of God, be a partaker of your mystical supper. For I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies. Nor will I betray you with a kiss as did Judas. But like the repentant thief, I openly profess you. And remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Let me this day, O Son of God, be a partaker of your mystical suffer. For I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I betray you with a kiss as did Judas, but like the repentant thief. I openly profess you, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Lift up your hands to the Holy Ghost, like the repentant thief, I openly profess you, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom. Our Holy Father Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend and noble and William, our God loving Bishop Kurt, the entire priestly, diaconal monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, and the ever memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom <clears throat> all you Christians of the true faith, always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let me this day, O Son of God, <clears throat> be a 
partaker of your mystical supper, or I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I betray you with a kiss as did Judas. But like the repentant thief, I openly profess you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. For the precious gifts, <clears throat> please be for us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord our God, you created us and brought us into this life. You have shown us ways to salvation and help, bestowed on us the revelation of heavenly mysteries. You yourself have appointed us to this service by the power of your Holy Spirit. Therefore, O Lord, be pleased to make us servants of your new covenant and ministers of your holy mysteries according to your abundant mercy receive us as we draw near your holy altar so that we may be worthy to offer you the, this spiritual and, and bloody sacrifice for our sins and for the people's failings receive it as a fragrant aroma upon your holy heavenly and mystical altar and send down upon us in return the grace of your holy spirit look upon us O god and behold this our worship <clears throat> and accept it as you accepted the gift gifts of abel the sacrifice of noah the first fruit of abraham the priesthood of Mo moses and aaron and the peace offerings of Samuel, just as you accepted this through worship from the hands of your apostles. Now, O Lord, in your goodness, accept these gifts from the hands of us sinners. May we who have been made worthy to minister without blame at your holy order obtain the reward of faithful and wise stewards on the first day of your just retribution. Grant this through the mercy of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, <clears throat> now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all and to <clears throat> your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator, creator of heaven of and earth, earth, of all things visible and, and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, Son of God, God the, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages. Light from light, true God from true God. Be God not made one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation, He came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was, he was crucified for us, for us under Pontius Pilate, and, and suffered, and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand right. Let us stand in all. Let us be attentive to offer the holy and offering peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. Waiter, Master, Lord God, Father Almighty and Adorable, it is truly proper and just, and with fitting the magnificent of your holiness, to praise you, to, think, to sing you, to bless you, to worship you, <clears throat> to thank you, to glorify you, the only true God, and to offer you this, our spiritual worship with contrite heart and humble spirit. <clears throat> For you have granted us the knowledge of your truth, who is able to proclaim your might, to make known all your praises, or to recount all your mighty deeds in every age. Master of all, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, both visible and invisible, Enthroned in glory, yet far, fathoming the depth, eternal, invisible, incomprehensible, boundless, and changeless. Father of our great God, Savior, the and Lord Jesus Christ, you are revealed through him who is our hope, <clears throat> the image of your goodness, then the seal bearing your like likeness he is the living word through god eternal wisdom life sanctification power and the true light through whom the holy spirit has been revealed the spirit of truth the gift of filial adoption the pledge of our future inheritance the first fruit of eternal blessing the life-creating power, the wellspring of sanctification, through whom every rational and intelligent creature is empowered to worship you and to offer you an unending hymn of praise for all creation serves you. Angels, archangels, thrones, Dominions, principalities, virtues, powers, and the many eyed cherubim praise you. You are surrounded by the six wings seraphim, who wings, two wings cover their face to their feet, and with two they fly, and they call one to another with never ending and never silent hymns of praise, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and sing the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are filled 
with your glory, O Sanna, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sanna, in the also cry out with his blessed power so loving and kind master and say holy everyone holy immeasurable is the majesty of your holiness you are revered in all your works for with righteousness and just judgment you have ordered all things for us taking clay from the earth you formed man and honored him with your own image, O oh God. You placed him in a delightful paradise and promised him a mortal life and the enjoyment of eternal blessings through the observance of your commandments. But man disobeyed you, the true God who created him. He was led astray by the deceit of the serpent and by his own transgressions was subjected to death. In your righteous judgment, O God, you banished him from paradise into this world and returned him to the earth from which he had been taken. But provide for him the salvation of rebirth in your Christ. For you did not turn away from your creature for forever, O oh, good one, nor forget the work of your hands. Rather, you intervened, intervened in various ways because of your merciful loving kindness. You sent prophets and performed mighty deeds through your holy ones, who have pleased you in every generation. You spoke to us through the mouth of your servants, the prophets, who foretold the salvation which, which was to come. You gave the law as an aid and appointed angels as guardians when the fullness of time had come you spoke to us through your own son the very one through whom you created the ages although he is the reflection of your glory and the express image of your person sustaining all things by his powerful word he did not deem Equality with you, God and Father, something to, to be grasped. Rather, while remaining everla everlasting God, he appeared on earth and lived among men. In becoming incarnate from the Holy Virgin, he emptied himself taking the form of slave, conforming himself to the loudness of our body, that he might confirm us to the image of his glory. For sin through a man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death. So it pleased your only begotten Son who is in your bosom, God and Father, to be born of a woman, a holy Theodokos and ever Virgin Mary, to be born under the law, to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who are dead in Adam might be brought to life in him, your Christ. Living in this world, he gave us received for salvation, Turn us away from the deceit of idols. 
and brought us to know you through God and Father. He purchased us from, for himself as a chosen people, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, cleansing us with water and signifying us with the Holy Spirit. He surrendered himself as a ransom to death, by which we were held captive, sold into slavery under sin, descending by the cross into Hades, to fulfill all things in himself. He freed us from <clears throat> death, despair, and rose on the third day, preparing the way for the, for the resurrection of all flesh from the dead. Since corruption could not keep the odor of life in its clutch, he became the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence over all. <clears throat> Ascending into heaven, he has taken his seat at the right hand of your majesty on high and will come to reward everyone according to his works. But he left us these memorials of his saving passion, which we have prepared according to his command. For when he saw was about to go forth to his Wonderly, wonderly, ever memorable and life creating death. On the night when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure hands and presenting it to you, God and Father. He gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, taking the chalice of the fruit of the wine, he mixed it, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. Amen. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this chalice, you proclaim my death and profess my resurrection. Therefore, O Master, we also remember his saving passion, the life-creating cross, the three-day burial, the resurrection from the dead, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at your right hand, God and Father, and his glorious and fearsome second coming, offering you your own from your own, Always and everywhere, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray Holy to Master, you, pray to you, our God. For we have done nothing good on earth. But because of your mercy and compassion, so richly poured out upon us, we have the courage to approach your holy altar as we offer you the holy body and blood of your Christ in this form. We pray you and we and beseech you, O Holy of Holiness, that according to your kind favor, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon these gifts here offered and bless and sanctify them and show this bread to be truly the precious body 
of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And that we and this chalice to be truly the precious blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Shed for the life of the world, so that all of us who share this one bread and chalice may be united with one another in the communion of the one Holy Spirit, and that none of us partake of the holy body and blood of your Christ for judgment or condemnation. Rather, may we obtain mercy and grace together with all the saints who have pleased your since time began, the forefathers, fathers, preachers, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, teachers, and with every just spirit brought to perfection and faith, especially <clears throat> with our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Come, you faithful, let us with uplifted mind enjoy the hospitality and the immortal banquet of the Lord. For we have learned exalted words from the Word, who has ascended to whom we give glory. Among the first to Lord, remember our Holy Father, Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kerr. Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, O Lord, the entire episcopate of the true believers who oh, faithfully impart the, the word of your truth. Remember also my unworthiness, O oh Lord, according to the abundance of your mercy. Forgive me every transgression, voluntary and involuntary, and despite my sins, do not withhold any grace of your Holy Spirit from this gift offered here. Remember, Lord, the presbyterate, the decanate in Christ and every holy order. Let none of us who surround your holy altar be put to shame. Visit us in your goodness, O Lord. Reveal yourself to us in your rich compassion. Grant us a healthful and agreeable climate and gentile, gentle showers upon the earth, that it may, may be fruitful, and crown the circle of the seasons with your kindness. By the power of your Holy Spirit, bring an end to schism in the churches existing, the raging of the nations, and quickly put down the Absurges of heresy, accept us all into your kingdom, showing us to be children of the light and of the day. Grant us your peace and love, O Lord our God, for you have given us everything, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated to our God, who loves us all, may receive them in His holy heavenly and mystical altars and aroma of spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return His divine grace, 
and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole evening be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Lord, an angel of peace, grateful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the pardon of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the whole world. Let us beseech the Lord, grant this, O Lord, that we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance. Let us beseech the Lord, grant this, O Lord, for a Lord. Christian, famous, unashamed, peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ. Let us beseech the Lord, grant this, O Lord, asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life. To Christ our God, to you, O Lord, and make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you. the mercy and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom we are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life rating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us be attentive. That you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who okay, came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting, amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Let me this day, O Son of God, be a partaker of your mystical supper. 
For I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I betray you with a kiss, as did Judas. But like the repentant thief, I openly profess you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Abroach his fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord of God has revealed himself to, to us. Let me this day, O Son of God, be a partaker of your mystical supper. For I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I betray you with a kiss as did Judas. But like the repentant thief, I openly profess you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Broken Virgin Mother, standing near the cross, with your mother's tears asking for an answer O oh, son my son what has brought this vow why is it you hang there in the sight of sinners on this cross why do men reproach you, O oh, my precious child? No man taught such love, Jesus meek and mild. O oh, son, my son, darkness shrouds this hour. As you ransom mankind, not by my poor power, on this cross. Beneath your cross I stand, O Savior, hear my request. Turn me from all sin, let me feel remorse. Here let me pray and rest. Turn me from all sin, let me feel remorse. Here let me pray and rest. For me you suffered shame, for me you suffered your cross. You paid for my sins, you paid for my faults. You redeemed mankind lost. You paid for my sins, you paid for my faults. You redeem mankind lost. From you I'll never turn, for me your last breath you spend. Let your seven words spoken from your cross 
be my strength to repent. Let your seven words spoken from your cross be my strength to repent. Beneath your cross I stand. O Savior, hear my request. Turn me from all sin. Let me feel remorse. Here let me pray and rest. Turn me from all sin. Let me feel remorse. There paid for you, redeemed mankind lost. From you I'll never turn, for me your last breath you spend. Let your seven words spoken from your cross be my strength to repent. Let your seven words spoken from your cross be my restraint to repress. Come now, all you faithful, look upon the cross. For our Savior died there to save all the lost. Mary stands there weeping, heart so pierced with sorrow, shedding tears so bitter, mourning her son. Mary stands there weeping, heart so Pierced with sorrow, ending tears no bitter, mourning her son. On that holy evening, Jesus prayed for us, knowing that the morrow would bring him the cross. Judas would betray him for the coins of silver and be lost forever, lost forever. Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith when we worship the undivided Trinity. For the Trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Let me this day. O Son of God, be a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I betray you with a kiss, as did Judas. But like the repentant thief, I openly profess you. Remember me, O Lord, <clears throat> in your kingdom. Arise, now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life creating awesome some mysteries of Christ. Let us worthy thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you who are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. 
Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Today we have seen our Lord Jesus Christ placed upon the altar. Today we have touched the burning coal, whose foreshadowing the cherubim were unable to gra grasp. Today we have heard his sweet words. This is my body which is broken for you and given for the forgiveness of sins. This body Thomas touched as he cried out, My Lord and my God, by eating this body we are filled with joy. Again our life said, This is my blood of the new covenant which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Beloved, we have drunk the earthly and heavenly blood. We have drunk <clears throat> the blood which enlightens us. See what kind of Lord we have who gives us this blood. This is the gift we have received. This is the mystery we enjoy. Who is able to worthily glorify this great gift? We have accepted the gift. Let us keep a genuine faith that we may become heirs of his kingdom in love for God. Let us ask peace for the church so that those teaching false doctrine may be shamed and brought down. And Christ our Lord be glorified in all things together with his immortal Father and his all holy spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever, now, now and, and forever, forever. now, now and, and forever. forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace and loving kindness always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ God, our hope, Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ our true God, who because of his our passing goodness showed us the most excellently excellent way of humility when he washed his disciples feet and humbled himself unto the cross and burial and have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother patroness of this holy church and of our holy father basil the great our bishop of Caesarea and cappadocia and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good, and he loves us all. Amen. In blessed repose grant the Lord eternal rest to your departed servant. Don't hold and remember him forever. Oh,
Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Dear brothers and sisters, first of all, I would like to mention that if somebody would like to have a confession after liturgy, I will stay for a while. And if you would like to have, because uh, like a custom, the last day for confession, tomorrow we have a funeral here in the church. That is funeral of Jesus Christ. So like no Eucharist tomorrow, uh, actually no liturgy tomorrow. And also Saturday, this afternoon we'll have matins with uh, uh, Easter matins or Paschal matins, and then blessing of baskets after. But if you would like to have confession, so you can stay, and stay after a little bit. Today we celebrate, we celebrated two mysteries, two two holidays, I can say, two two mysteries of the church. The, um, I can say like mystery of reconciliation and also uh, the mystery of the Eucharist. The mystery of reconciliation in the ancient church long long ago, um, Holy Thursday, before it was like a day for, for people who was prepared for baptism and they had a baptism at uh, Holy Saturday. And also was a time for the reconciliation of those who were in public penance. This is why Judas, in today's gospel and today's readings and prayers, is uh, presented in the liturgical text as one who did not repent. He is um, contrasted with Peter, who denied our Lord but repented. Judas did not repent. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to the man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. They will hurt. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. I can say that this word about us, about us as the sinners. The constantly repeated hymn in the Divine Liturgy for this day proclaims that we should not follow Judas, but remain ever faithful to our commitments to Christ. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, Son of God, for I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will, you, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. Also, we, can, we pray this prayer almost every day, some of us. We now repeat this. We, we, we repeat this. Um, every time we receive the, this prayer, every time when we receive mysteries of our Lord's uh, Eucharist, or as we heard today, body and blood of Jesus Christ. And just look at this, at the Last Supper. Jesus knows, Jesus knows that Judas is going to betray him and is destined for a tragic end. He also knows that Peter will fail him as well, but that Peter will repent and become even more than just disciple. But know this, just notice how Jesus treats, treats these two men. He washes their feet and then shares his last meal with both of them. We want to make sure that neither of them experiences rejection or condemn, co condemnation from him, only one, only love. 
And the other mystery is this like mystery of, of the Eucharist. Today is the day of, uh, today our Lord revealed the mystery of the divine liturgy. The bread and wine that we bring to the holy table becomes the body and blood of Christ every time, every day. This makes the passion, death, and resurrection and everlasting participation of the sacrifice of our Lord. It is for the forgiveness of sins and life everlasting. Our remembrance of the faith in infinity law of our Lord on the cross is not history. It's not just like fairy tale. It is an eternal reality for our salvation today and for all times. Therefore, we sing, um, not today, not during this service, not during this Westward with liturgy, lifting up our midst minds to the upper room of faithful. Let us enjoy the lordly hospitality and the eternal banquet, having learned from the world about the world. We extol him who has ascended. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I wish everyone a peaceful night and see you tomorrow. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Having suffered the passion for us, Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on us. <laughs> Ah. Uh.